greenhouse gas. In this laboratory, scientists are producing small quantities of pure biodiesel from gallons of brown and black greases and other waste fats, oils and greases known as fog, collected from municipal wastewater, wastewater scum, industrial food processing, grease traps and other biological waste streams. Chemical engineer Daniel Guinnessar says that the biodiesel technology developed at Idaho National Laboratory, or INL, one of the United States' national laboratories, is different, especially as compared to that used by private industry in the past. Bob Fox and myself came up with this idea in 1994. It took uh, a long time until we got the patent issued, and it took a long time until we perfected the process. When scientists at INL began working on this unique biodiesel technology, many researchers in private industry did not believe that it would work, he adds. Later, once proven, the SSC process was licensed by private company Biofuel Box Incorporated, which launched a 3,000 gallon per day demonstration scale facility featuring INL's SSC process. It was accepted by uh, industry, they saw the advantages of it and decided this was the way to go. This is the way to produce biodiesel and we have a number of companies that would like to utilize this technology. The consumers that use this considered this to be the best quality biodiesel that they had ever seen. Today, since Biofuel Box's license has expired, INL is actively seeking other potential licensees for the technology that received R&D Magazine's 2010 award that recognizes outstanding technology developments with promising commercial potential. What's very green about this is first we're avoiding putting this material in the landfill in the first place. The second green part is now we take it and we react it and we produce uh, diesel fuel out of what would normally be garbage. Supercritical solid catalyst is a continuous process during which the fog feedstock is mixed with alcohol and non-toxic supercritical fluid solvents, explains Guinness. So what we start with is we start with the grease, we heat it up to, to put it into a liquid phase. We pump it up to high pressures, also with the methanol, we pump that up to high pressures, and we have the supercritical carbon dioxide and the three streams mixed together come into the top of the reactor. It flows down through the reactor over the catalyst bed and we have catalysts inside that tube and it's heated up to high temperatures. And over the catalyst tube then, the oils and the methanol react together to produce the biodiesel. The process produces significantly less wastewater than traditional biodiesel processes and results in a glycerol byproduct that is not contaminated with any acids or bases, remarks Guinnessar. With this advanced biodiesel project, INL produces the lowest carbon transportation fuel alternative in America today. This technology is very green. It's considered the lowest greenhouse gas emission fuel uh, that's being in production today. INL can use up to 100% free fatty acid feedstock without any additional pretreatment. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, says that SSC biodiesel emits 86% less carbon dioxide than conventional diesel and 78% less than soy biodiesel per gallon. It actually burns cleaner than normal diesel. So it's a very clean fuel when it burns. It reduces greenhouse gas emissions. Just one SSC micro refinery can reduce 60,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide per year while diverting 10 million pounds of waste from landfills per micro refinery per year. According to Guinnessar, an additional benefit of supercritical solid catalyst is that it produces fuel from a domestic biomass source without competing with food production or specialized pharmaceutical crops. Now this can be used in any state in the country and of course in any country in the world. It can use not only waste oil that would normally go to the landfill, but it can use non-food grade oils, things that would grow in marshlands or things that would grow in very arid lands and convert, convert that to biodiesel. The INL Clean Fuels Program, 
which converts discarded and environmentally unfriendly wastes into biodiesel using a chemistry breakthrough technology will potentially replace 20% of petroleum diesel in the U.S., representing crude imports of 800,000 barrels per day.